All right, so recently Burt Kreischer was on a podcast, and he mentioned that another comedian has been trashing him recently on their podcast, and they bleeped out the name when Burt said it, but of course people were able to figure out who it is. Well, there are two names that people have been throwing around, Bobby Kelly, which, you know, that could be a possibility that Bobby has been talking shit about Burt, but I'm pretty sure that's not who Burt was referring to. I think he's talking about Mark Marin. First of all, you just tell this is something that Mark would say. And he's known to make fun of Rogan and his circle of comedians. And also, I was able to find the clip that Bert was referring to. And he recently said on his podcast that he thinks Bert is mad at him. And Bert said that Rogan's actually the one that made him aware of this. So I guess when it comes to reading comments about himself or watching videos about himself, Rogan doesn't pay attention to that. But then when it comes to his friends, then he keeps up with it. And I'm surprised he even found this clip because, I mean, obviously I follow this stuff quite a bit and I had no idea about this. But also, it's really not that surprising coming from Mark. You know, if I had to guess, I'd imagine he doesn't think very highly of Bert's comedy. But apparently Joe, he stumbled upon this, maybe on TikTok, because Mark posted a TikTok of it, and that's probably what he sent Bert. So here it is. Netflix is creating a cash grab culture for a certain echelon of comics. Incentive to do lazy specials. F*** it, man. They're giving me what? It's the way the world works now. You can go see guys on their rambling, drunk, pop-up cash grab tour. Thousands of people pay millions of dollars to say... Yeah, it's okay. You know, it's a few good jokes. So I guess Rogan found this TikTok and sent it to Bert and said, hey, he is not friends with you because Mark's been on Bert's podcast. Bert's been on his and he probably thought they were friendly. But now Bert is probably done with him, especially since Rogan's the one that sent him the clip and said, Mark's not your friend. Like he's going to listen to Rogan, obviously, because also I know Mark and Joe have had a beef in the past. I made a whole video about it. And also I think Mark talks shit about Joe on his recent stand up special. And he just talks shit about Rogan and his group of comedians quite a bit like uh, i've been making fun of uh, you guys for me moving there yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's been lot. fun man i mean i don't know yeah i, know. I also feel like my lifestyle is amazing well you're, so, i think you're different you know i i think that you know you're your own guy you're your own life you weren't one of the guys that you know rented out space in joe's ass and you know you <laughs> Yeah. It's just like it's like a human centipede in Austin. It's like <laughs> Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, and three middle acts. You know, so. <laughs> But you seem to do your own thing. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we have our own, you know, our own. See, people are going to see that and go, like, look at Mary, he's bitter. It's like, yeah. why wouldn't I be? <laughs> why? A uh, hundred million dollars for going, I don't know. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Hey, Rogan's pushing back. I don't know, man. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, Look, God bless. Yeah. But like, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and accept Austin as the next Shangri La. Yeah. Because what? Yeah. So it's funny that you'd say that right to Tom's face because I'd say that kind of does apply to him. Like he definitely followed Joe to Texas. So I'd imagine Joe probably wants all of his comedian friends to just cut Mark off because clearly there's some tension there. And I agree with some of the stuff that Mark says about them, but also like he pretty much admitted there, it does seem like it kind of comes from a place of bitterness. Like the video I made about him and Joe, it's pretty clear he's jealous of Joe and how successful his podcast has been. And he's also talked a lot of shit about Joe's stand-up. And obviously if he doesn't respect Joe's stand-up, then he is not going to respect Bert's. So that clip of him on TikTok is not that surprising. And also I saw Bert got another Netflix deal, so... I'm sure he's not happy about that either, but also you might just blame Joe for this. You know, he might be saying that to just be like, yeah, Joe's responsible for all these shitty comedians having Netflix deals. Cause I think he probably believes that Joe is ruining stand up and podcasting as well. I mean, I just remember him calling out Joe because he thought Joe as a stand up comedian sold out when he did Fear Factor. So he definitely has a more elitist view of comedy and he could see how he'd get annoyed with Bert. You know, the most exciting part of Bert's show is him telling the same story he's been telling for like 15 years and then taking his shirt off. And now he's doing arena tours and getting Netflix deals. So obviously Mark is going to be disgusted by this. So here's the clip of the podcast that Bert was on when he mentioned Joe texting him. People that were my friends, I've heard them talk shit about me on podcasts or behind my back. Rogan texted me the other day. Some guy was talking shit about me on a podcast and Rogan texted to me. He goes, yo, he's not your boy. And I was like, he pays attention to that stuff. Too. Joe is yeah. hi Joe is Joe's hyper aware of weird concentric circles. He doesn't care about him. He doesn't care about like people talking shit. He cares about his boys and like, yo, know, just giving you a heads up. This guy talks shit. He sent it to me and I was like, fuck that guy. And the guy, I'm friends with the guy. I've had him on my podcast two times, three times. I've been on his podcast twice. What did he say about you? 
I'm mad. He said Netflix has ruined comedy. It's uh, it, it's not what it used to be, and and now you got these guys doing these arena tours where they're not that funny, and they're drunk as fuck on stage, and 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 they should call their tour the ah oh, that was okay tour, and I was like first of all, but he's projecting his own insecurity. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's yeah. done that his whole career. If I said you his name, you'd go oh that makes sense. It tracks. What does it rhyme with? <laughs> <laughs> and then on one of Mark's most recent podcasts, the one with Bobby Lee, right in the beginning, he mentions how he thinks Bert is mad at him. And he's like, what did I say? Like, he's all confused about it because he probably didn't even think about it. You know, he's been talking shit about Joe and his comedian friends for a while now. And he probably just figured that they accepted that's what he does. I mean, he was making fun of the comedians following Joe to Texas right in front of Tom. And he didn't really seem to care. But obviously when Joe points this out to Bert, it carries a lot of weight. You know, if he just stumbled upon this on his own, he definitely would have been still upset about it. But obviously Bert can be delusional at times. You know, he could have tried to convince himself that he's not who Mark was talking about. Or he could have thought that Mark was just generalizing and he didn't mean him directly. And maybe he could have just been like, you know, I'll confront him. We'll talk about it on a podcast or something. But since this is Rogan that told him this and said, hey, this guy's talking shit about you. You shouldn't trust him. There's really no questioning it. And, you know, Joe's doing this to be a good friend to Bert and to make him aware that this guy he's had on his podcast and he thought he was friends with is talking shit about him. But it is just kind of surprising to me. You know, usually Joe's like, that's just noise. Don't listen to what anybody has to say about you. Just focus on your own thing. But now he's sending Bert TikToks of comedians trashing him, which, again, I understand he's trying to be a good friend and give Bert a heads up. But, you know, it does seem like he's stirring the pot a little bit. I mean, obviously, Bert is going to mention this on a podcast. He can't help himself. So telling Bert this, you know, you got to expect it to get out. And now Mark's going to be made aware of it. And, you know, it's not like Mark was just on Bert's podcast and they're best friends. Like, I don't think they're that close. Like, they haven't done each other's podcasts in over three or four years. So I don't know. But here's Mark talking about how he ran into Bert recently and he could tell he was mad at him. But in a good way. A lot of times the devil sends some pretty pleasant people. I think Burt Kreischer's mad at me. I don't know. Did I say something about Burt Kreischer? I saw him last night. He seemed mad at me. I guess I could text him. I, you know, it's weird. I'm getting older, and sometimes, you know, I say shit again. For years, I was very careful about saying shit, and I might have said a little something. All it takes is a little something. You'll see. I t I'll talk to Bobby here. He's very sensitive. Yeah, so it's hard to tell if he actually doesn't know what he said about Bert and why he's upset with him, or if he's just saying that because he's trying to act like it's not that big of a deal or something. Like, I would guess he probably doesn't know why Bert's upset, because this TikTok was posted in November, and again, he didn't really directly mention Bert, and Bert wouldn't have known about this if it weren't for Rogan. So Mark's probably going to hate Joe even more after this when he figures out that Joe's the one that told Bert. But we'll see what happens. You know, let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon account if you want extra content from me. There's a ton of stuff up there. You can hear about the degeneracy of Ari Shafir. You can hear about the game that almost destroyed Matt and Shane's relationship with Big J and Luis Gomez. And I just posted a new video on there about the Death Squad and what happened to that name that Joe and his friends used to call themselves. So if you want to hear about any of that, plus 60 other videos that are mostly over 20 minutes. So there's a lot of stuff to go through. If you want to hear about that, I'll put a link in the description. And then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.